And we have, and the buzz is what? The buzz is located in... Technically, he's Hoboken right now. Okay, so he's in Jersey, but still a Tri-State player. Um, still a New York player. That's actually, I believe, why he wasn't on the New York PL. He moved to Hoboken. Um, however, for those of you who are in New Jersey, that's not a far track from here. You take the path train to the L on 14th Street, L... I was pretty Eight fast. stops new right here. It's about oh, 45 sick, minutes. Actually, I, I thought it sounds farther, but I guess. Yeah, I mean, New Jersey sounds like it's in hell. So, um, I was there last night. Like, <laughs> I think uh, C took my comment earlier really personal because now C's not using the Gen skin. Because I was like, yeah, you gotta let Gen use that skin, and now C's not even. C used usually uses the default white skin for Apollo. So does Gen. Unfortunately, that was the Gen skin slot. So C not having the skin power up right now, but. Getting a nice 50% off the rip yeah. against Carflow. And, and getting into this, Carflow has the matchup experience. C will also have the matchup experience. Obviously, those are always everywhere. But he might not have somebody at the pace, at the level of Carflow. And more importantly, this matchup can get very, very stressful. Palu, characters kind of sometimes just like to jump through our nail. If Palu and Roy both jump and do nail, Palu goes up, Roy goes down, and then he continues. So, a little bit scary. Not a bad matchup, per se, but also not a good matchup, even at best for Palu Tina. Yeah, and I think this matchup right now between these two players, not the characters, but the actual players, it's pretty even. These Both these players are, like, even skill level. I yeah. think these, both these players play exactly the same almost, and they play extremely well. Both devastating characters. Roy can kill you so early, but Palutena can hit you in these loops, hit you in these, like, crazy combos, and just confirm really easily. Uh, going for a down throw there. Normally you would see Roy go for a forward throw, try to get a tech situation. Oh, You're going to die. Right there. You, you cannot do, not that. do that in Roy's face. And reminder, the dance... Oh. The uh, double edge dance actually works better with rage. So when you see these obscenely low percent Roy kill, you can't DI that in. And he's going to go for the down right back, that in. back air right there. Um, get the kill. When you see these obscenely low percent kills, it's because Roy double edge dance has very high base knockback, and base knockback scales better with rage. So you know you'll see rage 100% on Roy. That base knockback on double edge dance will kill you even earlier. Interesting. So. Roy's is double edge dance and Prom's is dancing sword? No. Oh. Uh, they're both double edge dance. Dancing blade is uh, Moth Lucina and it ah, connects better. Okay, interesting. Double edge dance is a little bit finicky. Interesting, okay, okay. Uh, well, let me phrase that. Prom's double edge dance <laughs> is a little bit finicky. Roy's double edge dance pretty consistent. All things considered, sometimes you get the sound spot, but it's still pretty consistent. Trying to get that bail. Interesting. Obviously, Ooh, when he's going to get the bail on the neutral get up. Here. And the ass 62%. This is scary. Because this starts happening, and then you take 30%, and that wasn't even a full combo. He almost dropped into God, and you're still on ledge against Roy. Oh, my God. Yo, let's go, Carflow. Hold it down for Brooklyn right now. Hold it down for Brooklyn Brawl. Yeah. Don't let these Westchester guys come over here and take the shine. They're doing great today, but you know what? We got the Brooklyn boys coming out, holding it down, holding the crown down. Let's Full go, throw. Carflow. Going to die. Back air. Let's go, Carflow. Not yeah. getting the kill just yet, though, but really yeah. strong. Oh, never mind. So <laughs> that that is a classic, classic, classic Roy situation. You see Cola, you see Goblin, you see Flo, you see all of the Roy's go for that. You add about 70 percent, you grab, you just forward, though. The reason that is is it forces a tech chase. If you don't hit that button, though, you're in a tech chase. And so see, trying to get out of it, hits a button. The button doesn't come out, and he still dies off the ensuing situation. Jab back here. Tries to get to ledge, can't do it. Palu doesn't have a hitbox on all recovery. Double jump, Bayo dead. Yeah, yeah, that was a good, that was a good uh, edge guard from Carflow, timing it perfectly on the teleport. And we're getting the Gen skin coming out yeah. on C, saying, "I don't got the default one, but I got some white in here." You know? Yeah, I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous I skin. Love I can't this remember skin. the name of the person who made it, but we have her posted on the social medias where we have these skins showcased. Go give her a follow. Yeah, give her a follow. She's an amazing, amazing fantastic modder. artist. Uh, but yeah, going right back into this, and this is going to be a lot of percent. And even now, 45, but now Carful taking the lead here. And even percent in this matchup is a Roy lead. Yeah. And so you have to have to be aware of, the, of that situation as C. You know C is, but that, that up out of shield looking really good. Getting a bail to trade with bail, but getting so much more off of it. And this is so, so scary. You're at 120, and you don't die here. But trying to get an up smash on the air dodge read in, not going to get it back to the proper heal. Not just yet. But Carflo is the mix-up that Carflo does is insane. Like you think Carflo's going for one thing, and he's like, ah, I got this one on my uh, on my on my hand. Carflo's speed is so much faster than almost anybody else in this state. We play in a very slow-paced defensive state. It does not matter. Carflo says, "Play at my pace." You know, I might pick up Roy. <laughs> you played Roy. Yeah, Roy's cool. 
Only getting sour spot jabbed. They will probably want to go for that uh, double edge dance if you can in that situation. Oh my, it, that weird hitbox on the explosive flame. Gets the auto link hitbox, but he's going to die anyways due to the counter. Great, great matchup knowledge there from C. But Call Flow reading the teleport cancel in, catching it up here, not getting much off of it, but kind of putting up a, a C in a weird situation. Going to get a double up. Up here. Oh my god, this is looking like clom combos. Yeah, Carflow going for the sauce with the soft hits on the on the sword there. Oh, I love using that sour spot into death. Oh my god, I thought Carflow was going to keep going for the double-edged sword there. He messed it up actually, put it in a little bit late, um, and that's why he dropped a little bit of timing there. That's why I didn't make oh, it. It doesn't matter, Carflow understanding. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you get the wrong thing. Move next, getting the F tilt on the get up. Great showing there. Yeah, Garfo getting that kill pretty early there, getting a nice stock, and now seeing a really Up bad hill. situation, Up getting combo strings by Carflow here, 38% on their last stock. You're halfway to minute. kill percent, you're at kill percent! This yeah. is Jab F Smash territory for Roy at ledge. Yeah, this is a scary situation right now for C because this is tournament stock for your entire tournament. This is loser's quarters at the moment. So you got you to gotta make a crazy comeback right now, which is doable. Palatina has a lot in their kit. Palatina has some crazy combos and crazy kill power. So That's gonna that be is going to be it. Again, 100% rage. Side, 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 death. Double edge dance. And Carflow moves on. Top, moves top on. four. Great showing your Carflow playing out of his mind, holding it down for Bookland. Um, That's right, holding it down. We what, lost. This is one of our originals. He's been coming here forever. Oh, yes. He started coming here. I think he still went to some Zenos, but this was the first one that he came to a lot. Like, if we, this is one of our boys. He's here all the time. Love to see him holding it down for the, for the local. Yeah, now we're going to be getting, I think, Jen on stage versus Madasti. And this is going to be interesting. So Joko can sometimes struggle against Palu. Um, Arsene is really easy to get off the field as Palu due to not having that hitbox down 